live from Austin, where Chris Christopherson applies shave pews with rubber cement. It's going to be a great night. Now, ask yourself, when it comes to football, is it better to hate Canadians or Coloradans? You know what? Here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. This episode brought to you by Chad My Kid Stroke. <laughs> I smell toast. That's, that's pretty much how humans talk. That's right? it. In The Sims. <laughs> I Too yeah. Much. I hope if, if I die from a stroke, uh, I hope that that's the last thing I say. I smell toast, and then I plug my Patreon. You know, <laughs> as my last words on what? Earth. Uh, speaking of toast, uh, uh, Brett, you you got some splaining to do because we're both drinking. A beverage called Toast of London. What is this? It is a delicious beer that I discovered. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I know why. It's a delicious beer that, beer. I, discovered, that I discovered at Batch Kolachi and Beer. Wait, uh, hold on. Uh, what What is the secret to a good uh, Stephen Toast impression? Is 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 it extra syllables? Is it uh, the uh, musical quality of what he says? I think there's there's the rich kind of like like Matt Berry has a very low and musical timbre yes. that he then accents with extra syllables. <laughs> syllables. Uh, syllables. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, we're drinking Toast of London. Uh, Bonnie, off, and this is local, stage. right? This is this, this is, is locally made. This is like, I mean, we we uh, at some point we're just going to keep shouting out local breweries until they just deliver until they just beer show to up us. and then yeah. brew beer for us we on the just spot. Call them, really? <laughs> we could just go in and say, "Hey." Oh, so this is from Batch Craft Beer and and Kalachis. Yes. By the way, by, uh, by the way I, Bri- this is not Bri- sold by them. This Bri- is like Bryce's- like their shit. Uh, uh, audio listeners, Bryce is doing the thing that we love, which is king. And- <laughs> yeah, no. Look, look no, 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 no. This is a great. This is a great visual. Oh, it's a great visual thing. Everybody should watch it. Twitch that TV. And I am this actual size compared to them. So that that's true. Absolutely yeah, true. So uh, we're, we're having Toast of London, which appears to be a porter, but uh, or a stout or something. But uh, uh, what what is the Clem Fandango? Yes, I can hear you. I can taste you. Uh, Bonnie Fandango. Brushwood will be on the show in a second, but for right now, she is drinking so, yeah, yeah, Clem take Fandango. A, take, take a sip. What is it? Wait, no, you take a sip. It's, no, your face. Your wife. Your wife. Your wife. Your wife. Your wife. Man. Mm. Like you've never had her backwash before. And take another Jesus. man's wife's smell. Yeah. It's All right. Taste. What is that? Because it, it is it is uh, uh, listed oh, as you know what? a. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> extra special or uh, or English special beer, yeah, yeah, right. But that's usually like a bitters. That's like a yeah. like that's usually what that means. Bonnie, Bonnie actively hates it. <laughs> Bonnie is <laughs> Bonnie maybe, is grimacing. Maybe, that, maybe that's the point of the Clem Fandango is that it's meant to be something that you actively to, hate. To 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 describe the bouquet, Bonnie is making a face that you would make if you stepped on a nail. <laughs> <laughs> that is the face that Bonnie Brushwood is making. Justin, yes, can bro. you hear me? I can hear you. <laughs> yes, okay, all right. I was just asking about the Clem Pandango. Uh, well, I, don't, I'm a, I should ask you. You drank it. What did you think? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember, yeah, we have to we have to be yeah. nice to them because we want them to I'm bring us. Because I like I like Toast of London. Toast of London's really good. Toast of London. Quite good. Although I'm not a bitters man. I, are you? Are you? Have you ever gotten into oh. into, into into the bitters? Bitterer the better. Like 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 I. I so you I, should love that. I shit. want to never be conf- confused about whether or not I'm drinking. And in fact, when I'm drinking something wholesome and non-alcoholic, I want it to feel awful. Like I'm drinking something awful. Asparag- uh, asparagus brew. Somebody make it. Go. 
Wait, hold on. I, I from what you just said, do you want alcohol to taste bad or non-alcohol to taste bad? Everything. To you taste want bad. everything to taste bad. Yes. So why don't you trade beers with your wife who hates that beer because that tastes bad? Mm. Here we go. <laughs> Hoisted by your own batard. They do make an asparagus IPA. Oh, Stone does, huh? What oh. the F? Yeah, but that's Stone. Stone's really into that. <laughs> like, we're going to do fucked up shit. Does it make you do your, uh, your pee do the thing? IPA yes. brewed with asparagus. Does yeah. it make your pee do the thing? Does it make your pee do the thing? Does it make your pee do the thing? Does it make your pee wear some bling? Everybody now, everybody is asparagus rocking. Everybody is tick tick Everybody pee smells bad when you're in asparagus land. Anyway, rock the pee and rap. Pee do the thing. Yeah, yeah. This episode has a theme. <laughs> and it's not asparagus or pee or British people. Uh, it is uh, the fact that there is a today is a momentous day, right? Yeah, man. Uh, there, it turns out there's a silver lining to everything, including 25 years of marriage. But oh. we'll get to that after our first story. Oh, Rice! Smooth. Uber driver card, door hook hand. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Sometimes Bryce gets high before the show. Uh, <laughs> try, hold on. First off. It's fine. We first all off, do it. First we off, all do it. It's fine. When you tell people what this fucking story is, whenever you tell whatever this fucking story is, I'm going to be vindicated by that wordplay. First off. <laughs> sure, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, South by Southwest is, I think, still ongoing, or yep. is it done? I mean, it never ends. It never ends. Yeah, no, they, it's, uh, we're coming up on Nintendo Week in three months. Okay. There we go, yeah. So, uh, uh, the, the meat of the music festival was last weekend. Yep. And uh, our friends and uh, uh, the, the band uh, for whom Carson Pace has done stuff on our albums, he is the front man for the band Callous Boys, very uh, well-respected. I think you're allowed to do a, a pun. Oh, no, no, no. Right? Yeah, yeah. But, but I, I do enjoy the bit of constantly acting like we're terrified that they're about to be sued out of oblivion. I think, yeah, I think it would be the best thing on earth for you. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the greatest shit ever uh, if, if a certain uh, football club from north of Waco uh, decided to get litigious. But, uh, 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 yeah, I would. Uh, so, anyway, so we, I go to see their show. They're playing the Slipknot Showcase, the Knothead Showcase uh, downtown. Uh, I love Carson so much that I actually went to a rock show that began at midnight, which is fucking on planet so Mars right. like, for like, me. Well, like, well, I, uh, uh, no. just, just, just real quick. Just yeah. uh, welcome to Team Old. It's so great up oh, here. Man. <laughs> it's so good. I uh, uh, Go to bed early. I'm like... I'm tired now. Like it's seven. <laughs> We're about to do great morning. I could, I could put I could put a little sleepy cap on, on my head and some Mad Men pajamas and you know go go knock out immediately. Uh, uh, so anyway, go see the show. It's a great show. Ba ba ba. I get into an Uber, and it's a bit of a shit show because the Uber drivers don't know which roads are shut down. The, uh, uh, so they're like, also the dude's trying to push me to like certain other places from where I had initially been able to schedule my ride. So I'm walking around, we're coordinating via text and eventually I get in the car and this guy is a hoot and a half, just an absolute, like a uh, rock and tour who is talking to me about all the drunk people that he's picked up and, Blah, blah, blah. And at some point, I forget where the entree into erotic conversations happen. Whoa, there we go. But dear. it happens fairly early into what is not that long of a drive. Like, how would you, how long would you estimate with, with clear roads? This is at like 1.30 about, in the morning. About seven minutes. From like downtown to my from house. From downtown yeah. to your house is about seven minutes. Like, you might have been better off just running. <laughs> <laughs> if it were not 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> Uh, and I wanted to get to sleep that much faster <laughs> right. than I might have. So at some point, he starts talking about how 
when he was nine. Oh, what? No. oh no. A neighbor nothing, girl. Nothing good is about to happen. A neighbor girl came over who was 12 and wanted to play house, which he, direct quote, then just casually segues into, uh, so anyway, she's sucking my dick. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Look, I was as shocked as you. <laughs> Don't, I mean... <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. Then he starts going on about how, like, he uh, uh, was always a troublemaker in school, and he tells me this story. Do you want? Do we want to have any questions about the nine-year-old who got his dick sucked? Or I think, uh, keep going. I was gonna say we like, should move on. But yeah. If you have any questions, I'll be willing to I answer mean, whatever I, I, I remember. I, I think all of us are processing. Keep going. I think we get ready to move on to the next, next, next <laughs> phrase here. Bryce, how are you feeling about your title? <laughs> Look, it's an old it's an old meme, but it's a but it works. It's an old it meme, works. but that checks out. That yeah, checks out. <laughs> Driver hook hand. So he tells me about this one moment because he said he always used to get in trouble in school. He was like the class clown. <laughs> and there was a moment during sex education oh boy. class when you're in like I guess early high school or late middle school, something like that. I I I, I think it was like fifth grade for me. Okay, so yeah, that, yeah. that would be Pretty for early. me elementary yeah, yeah. school. Yeah. yeah, so it's sometime around there, but this is like when kids are a little bit more rambunctious than maybe fifth grade, right? Right. Uh, and he says that the teacher has a like a, a stand up that is a a woman's body, but it's see through, but yeah. it is on its front like a rubber. So it kind of can, like, move and, and poke and stretch. It also has anatomically correct orifices. I, I believe you're describing a sex doll. So this is what I said. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I said. And he's like, no, it was an educational tool because who would buy a sex doll that's see-through? When you're fucking a sex doll, you don't want to be like, oh, that's where it goes. You can, you can get a ball in the I mean, gut. Did, did it have like the muscles and the six yes. pack and all that stuff? Yes. No, and it, it was more specifically to show a woman's. Uh, 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 so it's got the, the, re the ovaries, re reproductive fallopian organs. Yes, tubes. Exactly. The tubes totally fallopian. Come on, name a third part of the female genitalia. Go ahead. Name a third part. be here all night. All right. Fallopian. Say fallopian again. You put in your fallopian disc. Fallopian. Fallopian. For the last three times he said it, before he said tubes, he signaled to me that he's done, done. and then immediately <laughs> says tubes. Oh, kind of oh, fucked up, oh, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh that was good. <laughs> you good? Right. Tubes. We should invent hey, a done. new we're genre. Done. We're, done. we're done, we're done, we're done. Bryce, next story! Uh, next story. <laughs> Modern gaming. I got a story here uh, from the world of video games. Yeah. Uh, uh, name some of the biggest video game characters you can think of. Go. Uh, Mario. Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, yeah. Ma Mario, uh, after doing mushrooms, he gets bigger. Yeah. Uh, Master Chief. Master Chief, okay. Good yeah. one, good one. Uh, uh, Crash Bandicoot. Crash, oh, sure, yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Joel. Uh, sure, uh, yeah. Pac-Man. 
What about uh, Her Donkey Kong? Crazy what? climber. <laughs> that dude was crazy climbing all around. Come yeah. on, that that man. All like page oh. characters. Yeah, Pitfall uh, Man. Uh, Pitfall Harry. Yeah. Pitfall. Okay. Pitfall, what about Pitfall something for the, Doug? How about something for the kids? You know, something for the kids. You know, Pitfall oh, scary. Something for good the kids. old, good old Diablo. Pomp Pong. Pong. Okay, we've got Diablo and Pong. What about Pig uh, and Doug? What about Peppa Pig? Wait, there's a video no. game? There's oh. a Peppa Pig video game? They just put out a Peppa Pig video game, and uh, it, in it, you travel around the world with Peppa, you make your own character, and you go with her family to see, you know, Br Barcelona, and and London. No, I, I have not seen a lot of Peppa Pig. Is travel a big part of the narrative of Peppa Pig, or is this like a special thing that happens for the plot of this video game? Also, how much time is spent in the fallopian tubes? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I can't answer that second one, but... Uh, no, just go. Just no, go. No, just go no, again. It's not, it's not funny anymore. No. I don't know. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. When I say fallopian, you say tubes. Fallopian. Don't in, don't. <laughs> it was so, it was so don't sad. Involve it was so sad because two people did say it. <laughs> Not zero, but two people. You want to know what that was? That was a real time social experiment of Brian realizing that he has a heroin problem. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of facing it, he wanted everybody else to get high. Yep. It's not as big of a problem if everyone else is doing it. <laughs> okay. okay. So, uh, Peppa Pig. <laughs> he waved his hands again for audio listeners. This is like a tick now. You good? You're sure. I hope so. You're sure. Goodness, I hope so. Okay. Okay. Well, you want to do one more just to get it out? No. No. Okay. No. All right. No. Peppa Pig. Okay. Peppa Pig, Peppa Pig, uh, you know, kids, kids icon. Let me show you a clip here. This is uh, from uh, uh, Ray, somebody here on Twitch. Uh, just, you guys want to watch just a minute here of some Peppa yeah, Pig? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See what the game looks like. Oh. There's no shot. Oh, she's got the boots off. All right, really okay, briefly. Okay, so, so number one, uh, uh, the pigs are jumping in a puddle, and it seems as if Queen Elizabeth... Uh, who was probably alive when they developed the game, mm. uh, has has jumped in the puddle along with Peppa Pig and also mouse, for, uh, mouse uh, uh, for some reason Arthur from PBS. Yeah, like, yeah, that's the player character. You can make your own character. Oh, okay. all right, gotcha. all right, all right. Yeah, the queen is yeah. jumping in puddles. We all are. That's the what the frick is happening? Everybody jump. Splash, splash, splash. Uh, just <laughs> riveting is, gameplay. Is there is there a joke I'm not getting at this point? Well, right now I think the joke is that the queen is in the puddle and she's jumping around, and also she's dead. <laughs> so the queen of England died. That was, is, <laughs> is that the joke? I mean, I think right now that that's that's what I would if I had a gun to my head from the Saudi Arabian government and I was going to be paid a billion dollars to guess <laughs> what to the joke is stage, yeah. if I was yeah I would say that the joke is that the queen of England died and yet here she is being represented with a fictitious pig jumping in a puddle got it okay. and so th this guy is horrified that this game has this historical figure who has passed away i i think ray is just trying to do a work a day uh a lifestyle playing yep. games he's playing a kid's game which is probably a little bit ironic right i'm sure his followers are are enjoying the fact that he's playing a kid's game because you know you're you're a twitch streamer you got to kill some fucking time man yeah 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 okay we'll play a little bit more of the clip here what goes on in london now I see why Tina wants to go back. Jolly good time. Everyone is having jolly in Well done for completing our whistle stop tour around London. All right, so so now fade to black. They faded to black. The queen was jumping in the puddle, and I, uh, I really hope there's a payoff. Otherwise, they're gonna have to keep talking about female anatomy. Like what? No, no idea. Boobs. You want to say that a lot, too? Mm. I'll get around to it. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's, unpl let's unpause the clip here. <laughs> All right. That was London. Did you guys enjoy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh! 
Oh my god! <laughs> so after no. you play the London level, it goes to a screen because they also realized that Queen Elizabeth was dead after they developed the game that they wanted to not be disrespectful so they put up a her majesty queen elizabeth the second rest in peace in memoriam 1926 to 2022 well and they picked the best picture of her didn't they a picture of her jumping in mud with peppa pig hoping that's mud oh my god that was better than i expected (laughs) that's really good Anyway, uh, thank you to Ray uh, Narvaez Jr. for uh, for that clip there. Uh, yeah. Peppa Pig, uh, breaking breaking news, letting the kids know. Hey, the queen's don't look dead. For her. Don't Google her, kids. The queen's yeah. dead. Yeah, don't ask. So honor that. her. Matt, if you're five years old and this is your only interpretation of the fact that there was once a queen of England, know that that was the last she, thing she did on Earth. Yeah. <laughs> she jumped in a puddle with Peppa Pig. This it's game better came out, that that's what you what think. What a great life. What a great life. I, I, for one, thought it was tastefully represented in the crown. Yeah. <laughs> Bryce, what's the next topic? Our next topic. PCT put a book out. Oh, damn. It's been a minute since I've thought about Jesus PCT. Christ. Uh, we will not explain any of those letters. Uh, nope. But uh, uh, Except for Bryce, who put it on the title screen. But that's fine. For the audio listeners, it will remain unexplained. Yep. Uh, correct. Um, uh, uh, the uh, 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 John Tilton, a uh, uh, longtime friend of the show, somebody who is a treasure and is incredible, has uh, written a children's book. And what, what was the era that he was working with y'all? Uh, he would have been, uh, I think, pre-Bryce, post-Brant. Is that right, Bryce? Uh, there was overlap with me. He was here for a few years while after I, after I got here, yeah. Here's what I know for a fact, is, is that he's the reason that Scam Stuff exists. I, he built everything that we're still that running on right now. There is a store, now. yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, so he, uh, he wrote a book. It's... It looks amazing. Like uh, he, uh, uh, as I understand it, is uh, independently publishing, as you and I have done. Yep. Um, but uh, uh, you know what? Uh, can we bring Bonnie back? Uh, Bonnie Brushwood. Yeah. <laughs> my my applause button is broken. Yep. <laughs> Counselor. We got mics everywhere, guys. Woo! <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I, I, How's the book, Bonnie? Well, we are two chapters in, and, and it's great. It, no, it's really good. It is. A, it's a fun read. It's well written. It has um, some of that quality. It's fun to read out loud, which uh, is kind of nice for a children's book at that reading level. So it, it's is engaging. Is it a rhythmic Callie. thing, or or is there clever? Uh, uh, I, I don't know, plosives or something, or. I don't He's got great word choices and um, the sentences flow. So it's not awkward. Sometimes like you get into like, uh, oh, I wrote a book and they give you the book and you're like, this is kludgy to read out loud to my child. But this one just flows and it's it's really nice. So, so. Uh, well, what's the hook for the book? Uh, so it's a dystopian children's book. Wow. And okay. it is number one in dystopian category <laughs> so which I, I thought that was really interesting but it's completely charming so it like the scene is uh like there's children living in a in a garbage dump and you get a you get this um uh one of the one of the children finds a doll and it says please return to this address and then one of the call to adventure yeah it's the call to adventure and there's a child who's just like Oh, I really feel compelled to get this back to the person, and I'm. And everyone's really supportive, and they're like, "Please go yeah. on this call to adventure." Yeah, not yet. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, not yet. What? Wow. Not yet. You say oh, they no. refuse the call? They, uh, well, she's she's engaged, but her friends are advising her just to keep it because everything that winds up on Trash Island is just you know yours for the taking. So yeah. there's like this. Uh, uh, that's where we're at in the story, and it's a good beginning. So this is a picture book or or, or a words no, book. Uh, the the uh, cover is amazing art, 
and that's all you get is just the cover art. So the rest of it is so just is just like an actual yeah, like novel. Yeah, it's just, 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 a, just novel. a young adult novel. Right, right. So Callie's ten. She's an advanced reader, but she's reading it and enjoying it. And is able to engage with it completely. Um, and I'm having a fun time reading along. And despite, like, I actually have a hard time reading books that are written by friends because, like, I because you know feel it's hard my by their friends. Friends. You yeah. Like yeah. You know what I mean? You just, you feel it's them. hard. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, but, uh, but I'm really having a good time with it. So, so, uh, are, are you far enough along that that, that uh, the overall arc is hinted at, or or? Oh yeah, I mean, well, it's you know, a uh, call to adventure. Uh, it, the the book is called Re "Please Return to the Land of Luxury." So right, right. so but she's in a dump. Oh, uh, so she doll? goes from from the dump to the. The, the lands the, of luxury, the luxurious right. maybe, isles. I, I would imagine, it's, having not read anything, it's that not it what it maybe. seems. Yes, exactly. Ah, yeah. yeah. So we'll find out. We'll see. We'll find out. Yeah. But but yeah. also the good thing about writing those books is these kids ain't never read other books. So like <laughs> all this shit is new to them. Uh, <laughs> here's what I know is that uh, John Tilton is a national treasure, and yes. I owe him a deep deep debt. He created the engine that allowed me to stop touring and instead be home for 10 full years and uh, quite possibly is the reason that I'm still married uh, 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 yeah. uh, because I'm not on the road. Yes. Well, and um, he's also giving out a free short story. So if you just want to dive in with the you know, taste for his thing. So, you know, you can you can check out the, the free short story and then dive. Oh, yeah. Doomed Dune is the free one that you can, you know, dive into that so let's let's uh, uh, give out the plug uh, uh where do people go and what do they do right now if they would like to mm -hmm. support mr john tilton i believe there are uh, both an audiobook on audible and uh an amazon kindle uh, uh book but basically it's a, a please return to the lands of luxury right yes okay. uh, the the full title and the audiobook is really well produced. So that's a great one. Like if you like to you got a, a road trip, I think I forget how long it is, but it it's just a nice bite size book. So um well done. Uh he he pulled out all the stops. Like I he's been doing a, a podcast where he's interviewing creators. And then I think along the way, he just gathered up all this talent and brought them in to help him with this project. So it's uh, the art on the book is great. Uh, he, his writing, you can tell he's had a lot of eyes on it and and it's really good. And then also the the uh, the reading for the audiobook is, is really good. very well produced. Well, yeah. uh, you can also go to John Tilton dot com. J-O-N-T-I-L-T-O-N dot com. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure you sign up for his mailing list if he has a mailing list there. But I'm going to say for John Tilton's own benefit, buy it on Amazon because Amazon is where you rank. He's going to make a little bit less money, but he's definitely going to rank a lot higher. Today Especially is the right day. now. Yeah. yeah. Right now, yeah. go and buy this on Amazon. Please do it for John. He has been family here uh, uh, with, with, with Diamond Club and certainly with, with the Brushwoods for many, many years. And uh, please support I'm, I'm, I'm going to buy it right now. Yeah. And Go I, ahead. Also, he's like, okay, so he's number one in dystopian, children's dystopian. Wow. <laughs> right? <laughs> Which is kind of, I, I love that, right? But then this. also, he's like 56 on all children's category. I think at this point, so like he has a great Keep it going. Start. Those are rookie numbers. So like, like we can get is, those numbers up. Yeah. So like just, oh yeah, number 10. So the current standing is children's dystopian sci-fi, number 10, children's dystopian fiction, number 12, and children's action and adventure sci-fi, oh, number yeah. 20. Let's yeah. blow this up. Oh, buy it. So, buy it, buy it now. <laughs> uh, thank you, John Tilden. And uh, uh, we look forward to seeing and hearing from you uh, uh, soon to hear about how all this went. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty great. Bryce. Yeah. Do we have another story? No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm buying a book right now. <laughs> Bread voice in a world. What? You have to no. You have to say it in the Brett voice. Well, I was gonna do that, but I thought we'd lead into it. Oh no no no! Uh, give us the voice first, and then explain yourself. Bread voice in a world. Oh, you're doing the in a world. Yes. The trailer thing. Yes. In a world. All right, so you had a you had an audition, huh? Yeah. Well, th this was an actual commercial that I did. Oh. And then I wow. had an audition after that, but uh, the commercial 
uh, I got to do very, uh, uh, my, the director asked me, do you, can you make it sound like you're doing an announcement for the A team? And I was like, yes, I know exactly how to do this. And I got to do that voice. So, so wait a minute. Um, are you allowed to hint at what, what the thing was you were doing or? It was for a, for a, a roofing company. Okay. It's a commercial. But, but they wanted it to sound like an epic, yes. fantastical adventure. Yes. So, sorry, they do roofing? Yes. And they wanted it to sound epic. Yes. Now, did they do roofing? They, so they do roofing. Fallopian tubes? <laughs> and they wanted, yes. All right, before we hear the expert, Brett, how would you make a roofing company sound epic? How would I make a roofing company sound epic? Yeah. Uh, uh, there's a bomb in your house. <laughs> Leave it if you don't want to get blown the fuck up. <laughs> yes, we said fuck on the radio. <laughs> we don't give a shit. Your house is going to explode unless you buy a new roof right now. Call me, 555 Roofs. That's Roofs with three O's or some shit. Go and do it. I swear to God, I'm not joking. Bye. No notes. No notes. <laughs> How great. How great would it be? Is, has there ever been a radio ad that has ended with the announcer saying, <laughs> Bye. <laughs> good <laughs> only as they're leaving yeah bye goodbye <laughs> well but, but all right so we were talking in the pre-show about oh. the fact that you have been working on your was it don lafontaine Do, don lafontaine the, the, the don lafontaine the famous in a world movie guy yes. voice so yes. before we hear it bryce obviously has the music i have put into chat gpt write a script for a 30 second movie trailer trailer involving brian what should it involve uh, 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 roofs run amok. Roofs run amok. Bryce, what do you, what do you want to throw into our little stew here? Oh, uh, 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 oh, uh, uh, give the people a nice discount. Have them, uh... Wait, no, do we have to do an <laughs> ad? No, 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 no. Actually say, oh. and discounts run wild. Dis yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying you need to come up with a fucking <laughs> promo code right now, my man. Discounts I'm just... run wild. Sure. <laughs> And uh, oh, there was a note made. and Lance Armstrong. Uh, yeah, that's what we were messing up. Yeah, that's what we were messing up. Uh, you're plugging this into. Not All right, so here we go. Uh, uh, I'm going to. It is. Uh, uh, You'll have to bring it over to me. Yeah, I will. In fact, here, uh, 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 Annalisa, could you just bring my phone? It is currently. Currently generating here. Oh, I'm gonna the the latest in uh, uh, AI research being this used to its full extent. The, the reason we have a global interconnected network of computers yep. is for this bit. Is for this bit That's right well. here. Uh, Brett's starting, Don Lafontaine voice. Start we go. Starting with this music. Starting let now. Me, let me put the headphones on. Oh, oh the yeah. headphones Because sure, yeah. you gotta hit the cue. You gotta hit yeah. the cue. All right. Are you All ready, right. Brett? Are you good in the booth? I'm ready. Okay. Let me. I'm gonna cue you with the music in three, two. In a world where tranquility reigns, <laughs> an unexpected menace threatens to tear it apart. Roofs have run a muck <laughs> and discounts have run wide oh, you got it. but there's one man <laughs> who can save the day lance on <laughs> like you've never seen him before <laughs> And then there's Lance Armstrong saying, it's time to put a lid on the chaos. <laughs> this summer, witness the battle for the ages. Rudes of Reckoning, coming soon to theaters near you. Hey! Hey! Promo code great night at checkout. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do we want to go back to the well? I feel like that worked. No, I, I no. feel like that's as good you as you want to punch uh, out. <laughs> Turns out we don't care like... about your story. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that's as good as it's going to get. <laughs> so I did a commercial. I had fun doing it. That was, that's really what. And now you've done two. Do you yeah. know what markets people do? You, do you know if anyone will, who might hear it? Austin Market. Oh, Austin. Okay. Yeah. Oh, keep an ear out. In the Austin Market. Yep. Yep. Do we want to shout him out uh, in case anyone needs a new roof locally? Uh, Kanga Roof is the company. No way. Holy shit. There's a <laughs> no, there's there's a car that has a Kanga Roof wrap in my neighborhood. I know those people in my neighborhood. Maybe because I've always <laughs> thought like that's a pretty inspired like like roofing is a. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Roofing is they a hop is, to is, it. That, that is that is not a cheap thing to get into. Stacy Feller and I used to work together at a at a company. But yeah, like uh. to be like, oh fuck, we want to get into roofing, but also like we're gonna call it Kanga Roof. Yeah. Like I've always been appreciative of the balls on somebody that would do that. Yep. And they're gonna do a, a oh boy, I'm now doing a plug for them. They're gonna be uh they're expanding their services to uh, heating and air as well. Wow, I'm never gonna call it Kanga Roof. Kanga Roof. Well, we now I know. Now it. I, because all right, so they're like a mom and pop. So they, mm -hmm. they probably live in my neighborhood. If there's a wrapped maybe, car, maybe I, I can't so. imagine there's more than one. Right? Yeah. I just want you to walk around or or drive your car around with the windows down, blasting that fake commercial that we just did, <laughs> and yeah. they're all like, "I'm sorry, what was that?" <laughs> and then you're like, just "Whoa, I'm just listening website. to the radio." Send them to my website. I would it's never like, do that. I would never do that because I'm going to play the my commercial. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My commercial, I feel like, is going to be the number one commercial. Oh, is that what we're doing? Oh, yeah. 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 The one where I say fuck on the radio <laughs> and say that your home is going to explode. That's it, baby. Some people say fuck on the radio. <laughs> Not, not us. Discount. We're too classy not to us. say we're fuck on the radio. radio. We're not saying fuck on the radio. Yeah. Hey, Bryce, <laughs> do we have another story? Our last story. Founders Day update. Let's go. I, I, I think we're just enjoying the uh, uh, the, the harmony. Uh, uh, let's bring up Annalisa. Annalisa, grab Annalisa. a mic. Oh, you're short. <laughs> what? What the fuck? That's, you, could, you didn't have anything else in the chamber other than you're short. <laughs> oh, you're short. <laughs> Just uh, yeah. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a knee. My ass later. Oh, don't, don't kneel. Ass later. Don't kneel. Oh, yeah. there we go. <laughs> Beautiful. I've never done this before. Uh, Yay! I'll probably never do it again. Annalisa, <laughs> how many days remain? Eleven. So, uh, okay. Uh, what what is the part you're most scared about? Which is the part that you're most excited about? Uh, the part that I'm most scared about is honestly, what if it rains? <laughs> Yep. Because yeah. we have big plans. It would that involve be really it neat if it, would if it be just really didn't rain. It would be really neat if it that'd be, didn't that'd rain. That'd be pretty great. Have, have, you reached the point, uh, uh, have you reached the point where you have a, a, a forecast where you can, like, see something? One day away. One day away? Yeah. Tomorrow you, we'll be able to see it. Tomorrow, day tomorrow yeah. we'll, have, we'll have an idea of an idea of an idea that won't be real, but at least you'll have an idea. <laughs> yeah, especially yep. not here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you don't like the weather, the, the, it literally will change. It's going to be amazing. So uh, mm -hmm. the the biggest new thing is the tournament that we're going to play with a uh, playing skull, the mm -hmm. bluffing game. Uh, uh, we're we're working on the trophy, and uh, I tried it out with the Callus Dow boys, and it it takes a little bit to kind of understand. It's once you understand it, like there are only two choices. Mm -hmm. It's either keep going and bluff, or you know, say I'm out mm -hmm. uh, on on every decision matrix or whatever. But uh, but once they got it, it got very good very quick, and all of a sudden people were very much into it. Uh, I'm very excited for Ooh. the school tournament. It, uh, uh, I'm very excited. I don't to know watch why it. anybody would be excited because it's just going to be an exercise in humiliation for everybody that's what not me. Oh no, gosh. what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just going to I'm going to humble what? everybody <laughs> because I'm the best skull player that's ever lived. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, anybody who steps to me will get smoked. Oh, sc skull, like an skull. old, like an old, like an old skull, like an old. You pack get of made cigs. into a bong. Eventually, all of you become bongs. Yep, <laughs> the bong collector—they call me. <laughs> 
because your heads are going to be bongs for me. I'll smoke weed out of all your nostrils. Where's where's the smoke Not my pipe? nostrils. Where, what? Where's the pipe? Was the what part are you sm- smoking through? You won't even know because you're going to be dead. He just said the <laughs> nostrils. Are you smoking some skulls? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pack the bowl in your ear. Wow. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. And your and your and your mouth's going to be the carb. Uh, Wait, so you're going to make out with the mouth? <laughs> or no, no, I guess no, your hand carb, will yeah. be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll okay. just go. Right. make out with my dead skull, is what he said. As I cover the carb. Hold on. Now, now all of a sudden I'm into the mechanics of this skull <laughs> bong that you're going to make. That, so makes, you, that makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You cover the mouth. Are, are, are you sucking on the nose? or Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> In fact, everyone's going to find out April 1st at Founders Day. Be there and also be my bong because I'm going to beat you in skull and then take your skull and then make your skull into a bong. Founders. I just recap the improv, which means it's over. <laughs> Founders.spamstuff.com is where you can go to sign up. We've got two meals all lined up. It's going to be an incredible uh, time. <laughs> yeah, that's everybody that shows up. Wow. Look at this. That's yeah. really fun. <laughs> Video viewers. Okay. Just this bo- this boy is loose I mean, off his mind. <laughs> I am kind of a sucker for colored glass. Right? Green? Mm, skulls, Bryce, man. Bryce, can you, can you go to Dolly and just fire up some skull <laughs> bong concepts? I mean, it's... Oh, right yeah, there. absolutely. Yeah, well, no, that's one that's real. I want fantasy ones. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll do that. Give me a, yeah. give me a second. We're gonna so live, tell us about Founders. Live magic shows. Digital art, Elvin. <laughs> we're going to have we're gonna have uh, live comedy shows. We're going to have live music. It's, it's truly... Who's going who's gonna to be here? Well, I don't know. A little, little band, maybe you heard of them, called... Uh, Jomo and the Possum Posse. What? Yeah. Maybe maybe a, 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 a magicians like uh, uh, Alex Ramon. Oh. Uh, what? Maybe, maybe the Bucket Show from the Ice Cream Social Boys. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Improv? Maybe we're going to do a combined Great Night and Ice Cream Social Show. What? Great, maybe great maybe Tom Merritt diamond. will... Figure something. out what he wants to do. I still don't know. <laughs> he'll show up and he'll find something. We'll It'll put him wonderful. in somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Take a look at this. Take a look at this bong. Damn. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Damn. Whoa, whoa. Oh, Those that's a good are one. The defeated that's enemies. Everybody's of Justin face. Robert Young. Yeah, yeah. That's what. That's what all my opponents are going to be. Line them wow. up. <laughs> <laughs> Victory. Founders.scamstuff.com. Anything else? I was going to say that we're going to be joined by our friends from last year, West China Tea. Oh, yeah. 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 Historical Weapons Guild folks are going to come, too. Mm -hmm. Who are? Historical Weapons Guild. Nice. Oh, very nice. Yeah, they're going to see some historical weapons. Have y'all ever heard of a weapons petting zoo? What? (laughs) Wait a minute. I instantly get it. Yeah, right? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I just realized we all get it, and I probably shouldn't explain it. <laughs> and, and, and Lisa, <laughs> it's, it's a bunch of weapons. Can can I MC it? The the weapons petting zoo. All of it. How about you know, the whole damn day? Yes, actually, Brett, uh, the voice of yes, yes you would, Brett. We would, we would very. We I know you've already agreed to it, but yes, Brett, we would very much like for you to MC the whole thing. Yay! Or you could send. Teddy confetti. Or you can send Teddy confetti. I mean, is Teddy Teddy available? Where is Teddy at that date? Can we lock down a little Teddy, baby? Where Teddy is? Uh, What if we we promise to give Teddy confetti a megaphone? Two megaphones. Two megaphones. Mm -hmm. Three megaphones. Three megaphones. As many megaphones as it takes. I don't care how many megaphones it takes. I I want Teddy confetti. Teddy would want. No, five, because I need one. Teddy would want a megaphone that's about this size, but then behind it, he wants one this size. Yep. So he can talk through the one that's that size. Into the larger one. All right. We'll, okay. We'll we have, have a task. These people talk to our We've got to find one of those little. Right. We, we got this. We got to find one of those little kid megaphones that changes your voice. That's like this big and it's like neon pink and yellow. Yep. Surely that you know what I'm talking about, right? I know exactly. That exists. Teddy we need knows to find exactly one. Exactly what you're talking about. Teddy needs one. Teddy yep. needs Teddy the, the little megaphone. Teddy does need one. Teddy needs one. Yep. Okay. Founders.scamstuff.com. But are there even any tickets left? Uh, uh, yeah. uh, probably not. <laughs> Good, good luck. 
I would say if you are last minute, and we are entering into last minute territory. Yeah. Yes, we are. Eleven, 11 days? Did I mention? Scrambled. 11 days. 11 days. <laughs> Little spiders. Scrambled. We're fine. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Here, here's the problem is, is uh. I suspect a bunch of people out there are going to be exactly like us, where right now they're deciding, eh, I'll check the weather. <laughs> like, 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 basically... We have a backup plan if we do. Weather. We do. We do have yeah. a backup plan, but it's going to be so cool if we can do the original plan. Yes. yes. Right. Well, yeah. Yes. Let's yeah. not Let's advertise see. the weather. How about we advertise the awesome shit that's going to happen and awesome the fact stuff. that there's very, very few tickets available go. right now. Go to scamstuff.com. If you are planning on doing it, obviously we are at a point now where plans you might have thought were happening maybe things change maybe now you have a little extra time maybe you got a little wild hair you want to come on down to austin texas have a fucking amazing weekend i can guarantee you that this is a con this is not a convention this is a weekend it's a happening and it's unlike any other because it is very intimate there is no space between the performers and everybody that's there it is nope. all one big goulash we all have an amazing time together uh last year i had a fucking Last and I cannot wait to do it again. And if you're out of town, out of state, and you want to know what Texas blue bonnets look like, oh, they're popping. This is the time. Oh yeah, this oh, they're on. The they're pop. amazing. Yeah. yeah, they're amazing. All right, all right. So go ahead and uh, go ahead and do that. Yep. Yeah, founders. Yep. Last minute tickets. Dot com. Uh, uh, oh, Justin. So many people right now are shouting. I would love to come to that, but I can't. Uh, is there some other way I could throw money at your face? No. Your beautiful <laughs> face? Just money, splashing money on your face, like the jism of the Pope. <laughs> Did you? Uh, 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 the jism of hope. There you go. Bob? The jism that allows you to cope. I'm talking about money all over your face <laughs> justin please say something please please <laughs> no <laughs> no i don't think i will <laughs> washington's lincoln's jackson's oh jack <laughs> hamilton's you know we might have gotten legionnaire's disease Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got that email, too. Did you get that? <laughs> did, did I even call you? No, I got a physical letter. Yeah. Your uh, body called me, and she was like, uh, hey, so I got an email from a hotel, and uh, do you have Legionnaire's disease? <laughs> Wait. So I got, I, got, I got a physical letter from <laughs> the Orleans, which is Brian and I's uh, uh, hotel of choice whenever we go to Las Vegas because it's a pile of shit, but it's our pile of shit, and we love it. And uh, I was like, I was very excited to get it. I'm very, I'm very rarely excited to get promotional mail, but I was like, I was like, oh, like maybe we made it onto like. A like VIP frequent, list or uh, something. Yeah, like, yeah. like a frequent uh, customer. Pro I would love to be a VIP at the fucking Orleans. It'd be amazing. It, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's a correction, and we actually did get a blackjack that time. Yeah. <laughs> like, we reviewed the footage. Uh, no, a it was a think. letter informing us that we were at risk for Legionnaire's disease. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, glad you guys are here. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com <laughs> slash great night is where you need to go to support us. Uh, give us money on this show. We love money. We're greedy and uh, <laughs> we'll go to hell for it. Uh, also, uh, also, you get double the episodes and uh, the bonus episodes are quite good. Uh, by the way, what is Bryce Legionnaire's disease? Oh, goodness. It's a... Uh... <laughs> Well, there's a respiratory element. Yeah, it's a serious type of pneumonia, parentheses, lung infection caused by Legionella, Legionella bacteria. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so Legionnaires, like like the profession didn't get it? Or did they name it after that? They, they, what does a Legionnaire do? They, 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 they probably traveled around and spread it around a lot. Were, I mean, it, 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 it's kind of like um, uh, uh, whore's blossoms. What's that? I don't know. It's a fictional disease from the Dark Tower series oh. spread by whores who oh. move around a lot. Oh, bro. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, the, the Legionnaire's disease originally uh, started by uh, uh, Legionnaires being at a hotel 
and caught it from that. They were the first ones to get it, so they called it Legionnaires' disease. Legionnaires are like like soldiers for soldiers. hire. Yeah, I've kinda, always thought of it like, like, like the, the French, French Foreign, Foreign Legion, Legion, right? That, yeah. That's how I that, first that's knew I about it. You know what it we turn- should do? Yeah. Maybe we should play a game. What do you say we do, ladies the, and gentlemen? The audience is trying to helpfully explain what a legionnaire is to us. No, <laughs> we're trying to do it, and we failed. We uh, <laughs> Patreon. Patreon.com slash great night. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce to the show the other half of a lovely 25-year marriage, Bonnie Brushwood, ladies Yay! and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> Do I stand over here? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. In fact, you guys eventually are gonna have... we're gonna sit. But but uh, yeah. uh, 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 for for those who weren't there, oh I don't know, 14 years ago, like the whole reason tonight is happening is because you were kind enough to allow us to use our spare bedroom to make it into a studio, and uh, Justin and I became friends and uh, 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 farted around on the internet well, eventually. It's a, it's a little more than that. I, I remember us looking for a house that had specifically, specifically yeah. an extra space to do the... Uh, to do live streaming or do yeah. shooting yeah, or yeah, just yeah. for yeah. Brian to play video games? I, 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 all I knew is that we needed a space to, uh, 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 to do live stuff. And, yeah. and specifically yeah. for live, like Here's like my... before Twitch, before I, oh man, what was it before Twitch? Uh, there, Justin, uh, T- oh, oh, oh yeah. before Justin oh, TV, uh, uh, um, UStream, before uh, UStream, uh, 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 there was uh, livestream.com. No, 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 no. this there, was even before uh, that. Uh, there was like eight windows on it. Um, doggone it. You mean uh, uh, WeChat? Not WeChat. No, WeChat? no, no yeah. not Chatterbait. Um, <laughs> no, it was it was Stickham. No, please Stickham. No, there was another one that had just the windows. It was pre WeChat. I, th- I I think it was sticking. Was it sticking? Yeah, I think okay. so. Yeah. So this is this is my impression of Brian. This is when we decide, okay, we need to consider doing getting a different house that can accommodate the babies and also Brian's burgeoning live streaming thing. But he, he was just like, we he was set up in our um, outdoor screened in porch thing so that he wouldn't wake all the babies up and the nursing mother and then it started raining he was just like bonnie you gotta help me move the computer there's 300 people watching yeah. live <laughs> live yeah, yeah. so yeah. we uh you know the mama gets up and it was just like all right yeah. and we move everything in <laughs> and so you're like we got to get a house we got to get an enclosed space for which all this stuff can happen it is because of you guys that this show exists. And now it is our turn to celebrate you. <laughs> it is the newly Schwood or the Schwoodly Wood game. <laughs> the Schwoodly Wet. The, sh- the Schwoodly Wet. Yes, <laughs> the Schwoodly Wet game <laughs> is a lovely uh, element of our show brought to you by Clorox. Clorox! I mean, whatever. (laughs) (laughs) For the rules, we go to our rule meister, Bryce Neshkom Castillo. Bryce? Hi, yes. Uh, Hello, everybody. It's the Schwoodlywed game. We're going to (laughs) ask questions to Bonnie and Brian and see who knows marriage better. (laughs) <laughs> should, yeah. should, should we sit down? Yes, please, please sit down. You so, guys go ahead and sit down. We're going to have them sit on opposite sides of the stage here. And uh, Bonnie, oh. if I can have you do me a favor, there's a whiteboard there below the TV. Have you, let me have you grab it in one of those markers for me. There you go. You're going to be yeah. writing your answers you first. You the way that, that this is going to work is uh, Justin's going to ask a question to somebody who's writing the answer here. It's going to be Bonnie. Uh, he's going to ask her that question. She's going to write her answer, lock it down. And then Brian will have to see if he can lock that answer that she locked in as well. We're locking the answers I, in for the Schwidley Wed game. Uh, real quick for the Easy audio game. listeners, there's a delightful thing happening where Brian backs up uh, and suddenly I, looks that's... very small. But Bonnie, perfectly comfortable, being very close to the camera, looks five times as big as me. <laughs> you need to move up. You need no, to move up. no, 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 yeah, no. Bonnie's no, in a good we spot. We want move both up. of you okay, bigger. Right, yeah. Right, why? Fine. Why would you be a tiny speck? Well, <laughs> <laughs> because then he gets to say he's a tiny speck. Well, of course, uh, your marriage has not only 
uh, given life to three children, multiple businesses, and touched the lives of thousands, which is why we have waited until tonight to determine the answer to the ultimate question, who's better at being married to one another? <laughs> That's right. Yes, it's the Schwoodly Schwood Schwood. Uh, uh, Bryce, what's our first question here? Our first question, Bonnie, you're going to answer this one first okay. for me. Who spends more time in the shower? Who Is it spends or Brian? more time in the shower? Scrub a dub dub. <laughs> Everybody's got to get in the shower every once in a while. But how long is it a quick 30 second job? Or are you <laughs> spending a lot of time <laughs> in that shower? Everybody's wondering. What the hell's going on in there? <laughs> what, what's going on? Too much time in the shower. Too much time. Wow. Do we Bonnie, how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty confident. All right. Answer. Brian? <laughs> Did we even mention the fact that it's our 25-year anniversary? Yes. yes. Okay, Instead good. All right. The silver anniversary. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Silver. <laughs> uh, Brian? Well, what's your favorite thing to do in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> what do you like to do in the shower, huh? Um, uh, I, 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 um, uh, like a little uh, conditioner? You're rinsing it out or you're leaving it in? <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Rinse, I, uh, look, I'm, I'm pits and bits. That's that's what I do. Yep. Yeah, get in, get out, quit fucking about, yo-ho, yo-ho, yo-ho. Washcloth or are you white? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> What an answer. I mean, does what an anybody answer. actually use a washcloth? Uh, there's two Americas, Brian. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who oh spends God. more time in the shower? Now, do I I just I just get the You have I, to ask Brian first. Okay. And we'll have to oh, see yeah. if it matches Bonnie's answer that she wrote down. Brian, yeah. yep. your wife just wrote down that answer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What do you think she wrote down? <laughs> I think she wrote down that she spends more time in the shower. That your wife Bonnie spends more time in the shower. Bonnie, let's go ahead and take a look. It's and Bonnie! Bonnie! And you have drawn a <laughs> rubber top, ducky. Uh, a little being, rubber ducky. A rubber ducky. Yes. Oh, and that's an exclamation point. I thought it was a meteor about to hit that duck <laughs> in the head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me a no. favor, Bond. Let's oh uh, my uh, gosh. go ahead and wipe that out. Oh, there we go. Wipe <laughs> that down and hand it on over to Brian. I want to remind everybody oh, that God. <laughs> if you don't buy war bonds, the Nazis. Will. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it there doesn't go. please me to tell you that they're back. <laughs> And uh, now oh, we yeah. need to all buy war bonds, not mm -hmm. to prop up our faltering banking industry, <laughs> but because the Nazis are back. <laughs> Let's go back to our game. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bryce, what's our next question? Our second question, we're going to ask Brian this one first. Yep. Brian. Who's more likely to cry at a sad movie? Ah. Sad movie. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. You're seeing someone get run over in a car, die of cancer, and you just can't help but squirt a few tears. Is it undignified? I don't know. I mean, maybe, uh, you know, in the privacy of your own home versus being in public. Otherwise, come on, that's a little weird. But, you know, people have different opinions about these kinds of things. Bonnie. Yes. Who, between you and your husband, Brian, is more likely to cry at a sad movie? I married a very sensitive man, <laughs> and he cries every <laughs> chance he gets. What, what, is, what is the last sad movie that uh, he cried at? The Jeffersons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, he just watched our, our child's uh, first year movie with his parents. <laughs> oh. Is there, is there, is there, is he there, made. Is there a movie? Yeah. Is there a movie that you watch Brian cry at and you're like, Jesus? Well, um, oh, man. Like, okay, well, I cry too. But that one scene with the rocks and the uh, and everything, award everywhere, winning and the award winning everything everywhere all at once. Oh, so you're like, oh, yeah. how is it that I'm 
I'm emotionally moved by something that's Rock. emoting nothing. Yep. Like they're just sitting the there rocks, and they're just yeah. talking. The rock scene and everything everywhere all yeah. at once. Real tearjerker, Brian. Mm-hmm. Who's more likely to cry at a sad <laughs> movie? I mean, the only thing I don't love about this question is that it's not just sad movies. It's also happy movies. I put Brian. Yes. Brian! Yes. And look at him. He's crying <laughs> like an undignified man. Look at that. It's <laughs> <laughs> all of his dignity <laughs> leaking out of his face, right out of his eye holes. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're learning a Brian, lot more think- about <laughs> Justin now. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I, uh, I'm a sociopath. So, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Brian, how, how do you feel about this game so far? I'm going to get her. You think so? <laughs> oh, yeah. You I mean, look, there, there could only be one better partner, and it's going to be me. And you're it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let, let her have it. Yep. I'm really going to give it to her. Mm-hmm. I'm going to just shove it in. <laughs> Probably going to cry while you do it. Uh, Bryce, guess. what's our next question? Our next question, we're going to ask Bonnie for this one. Bonnie. All right. What was the first car <laughs> that Bonnie ever owned? Can I get a judge's ruling here? Is this in their marriage or in her life? In her life. In, in her entire her life. Life. So this one is a little bit tricky. It's not something that happens all the time, like showering or crying. (laughs) (laughs) This is a little bit of trivia. You're going to have to go back to the old mental Wikipedia and remember what the first car that Bonnie Brushwood ever owned. Brian, where do you know it? How are you feeling? Are you confident? Uh, 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 question. Uh, would I be right if I knew its name, if not its uh, exact make and model? We're going to find out what she wrote on the board. Oh, and dear. that is going to be what your answer is. Stop you know trying what? to make eye contact with her <laughs> to get her to write the thing you know on the board. I'm physically bl- blocking Brian's line of sight well, I, from I, his I, wife. I, I'm, uh, 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 you know what? Uh, I'm going to say, number one, I don't believe she remembers the maker model, but I do know wow. that Wow. Already. Ca- hey. Scattering blame. <laughs> I do believe she called it Old Blue. Old balloon? Baloo. Blue. Blue. Old blue. 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 Like, B-L- the bear like the bear in the jungle like, book. Like, like the color behind us that's being keyed out to put a gigantic version of Brett's face right there on the screen. Wow. Old blue. Now, if you were to imagine in your mind's eye what kind of car old blue would be, you don't have to say like a make and model, but just like the type of car, sedan, truck. Oh, it's a, it, it, it's definitely a truck. Uh, and and uh, it was uh, the inspiration for when I bought her a blue truck. A blue truck. Yeah. A blue, blue truck. truck. Looking <laughs> over here for a blue <laughs> truck. Uh-oh. Bonnie Brushwood. Here it comes. What was the first car that you ever owned? Oh, oh blue! Yeah! <laughs> that was a F-150 1978 truck <laughs> with, Old a, blue. with a wheel that has a, a, a Q a on it. That Apparently, was, That was the tire that I popped and I just kept driving because it was so bouncy. I didn't, oh. know I, I didn't know I had popped it, so I just went all the way home. and I thought it was a signal yeah. for QAnon. So... <laughs> There we go, Brian. That's a Brian, Brian boy. You remain perfect. Yeah. yeah. Remain uh, perfect. I like that. That's uh, that's my motto. Remain perfect remain at all times. Perfect. Yep. That's right. Remain perfect. Old Blue had had a cow scrotum for a trash can. Wait, what? A ca- I'm sorry, did you say cat? Wait, I'm sorry. Did, well, just I, say if I can just... I'm sorry, I don't, just, I, uh, wait, I don't think that's a joke. I think no, you no, mean totally an was. actual... Uh, oh. Bull scrotum. Yes, was the garbage can yeah. in your car? It was dried out. It was really large, and you could stick your gum in there. Where do you procure <laughs> a dried bull scrotum that has since been fashioned into a small trash? Where does that come from? Well, because it the was Bucky's. a it, <laughs> Bucky's. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> well, mean, we didn't have Bucky's down there, but I think it guess. was the feed the feed store, probably. The feed store. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine them trying to like like Doris order more bull scrotums? They're really flying <laughs> off the shelves. The kids love them. Yeah. I mean, are, uh, they don't Google cow scrotum. Like, like, did you buy this or did? Oh no! It just came with the truck. It came with yeah, the truck. Yeah, it was part of. <laughs> it had already been stapled story. in. So, uh, like, uh, but you kept it. Yeah, and I also <laughs> kept I also kept the horn that you could custom do songs on it, and it would play La Cucaracha. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. what, what, what were the other options? I God think, Save the Queen? No, I think it was like Dixie, that Dixie oh, song, yeah. or I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah, probably yeah, semi-racist yeah, truck yeah, or something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dukes of Hazard was on TV. Yes, that yeah. was yeah. Yeah. probably part of it. Yeah. Moral hazard. Yeah. Yeah. This is brought to you by <laughs> historical <laughs> revisionism. <laughs> Not everything that happened is cool right now. Remember yeah. the rules. <laughs> Or pay the price. <laughs> Bryce, what's her next question? <laughs> We're going to direct this one towards Brian. The yes. question. Where did your first kiss happen? <laughs> this is early on in the dating process. Where did that first smoocheroo happen between Brian and Bonnie, Bonnie, how would you rate your confidence on what Brian's answer will be? Because remember, mm. it's not whether or not it's right. It's whether or not you are guessing what Brian guessed. Yes. What is your level of confidence by percentage right now? I feel like when he tells the story, I, I'm pretty sure, I'm going to say 75%, but... There's I'm one, sure. maybe. Yeah, there's, there's two there's locations for two <laughs> possible locations. Yeah. And you're pretty sure <laughs> that you got the one. <laughs> she maybe. I mean, right, well, hold no on. Before, oh, wow. before, before, before we reveal it, Bonnie, can you name the two locations right now? Okay. Well, it was either backstage or I think the more likely thing was in his dorm room. <laughs> In his dorm room, bed. dorm room, yeah, yeah, or backstage because you guys were both working on a magic show right. at the time when you first started right. dating. There was a lot of kissing backstage during the die box routine. Oh, eight minutes, oh. eight minute kissing, long routine, <laughs> a lot of time, smooch. Yeah. But you believe it happened in that classic den of romance. A college dorm room. Yeah, Are I you think locking so. that in? I'm gonna lock in the dorm room. Brian! <laughs> what? Brian! Uh, He's revealing. Oh, do you want to get more details? Yep. Oh, what? Uh, he's requesting more <laughs> details. <laughs> oh, my God. About the, about the smooch? <laughs> yep. About the smooch. <laughs> what? So uh, let's take for context clues <laughs> because you don't know the rules of the Schwoodly Wood Schwood, <laughs> and neither do we. <laughs> Brian's doubling down for double points. <laughs> we are assuming that the dorm room is correct, yeah. but there are additional details <laughs> that Brian is requesting that you remember. <gasps> what Man. was happening in the dorm room? At or around the time that the kiss happened. I don't know. We were we were supposed to pl platonically be sharing the bed because I didn't want to drive all the way home. It was kind of like that <laughs> that snow um, that song, like "Ooh, baby, it's cold, it's cold outside." Baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> and yeah. I'm just like, oh, I couldn't possibly drive all the way home. So, so this was already <laughs> in that situation <laughs> in that song. It's. Put some records on while I pour. Right. If there was entertainment that was happening mm -hmm. in the dorm room, what would that entertainment be? Um. It, oh, well, this was like after a gig. The way I remember it is after a gig and we were like, okay, well, let's just get to sleep. And then we're all like cuddling up and then like. You know, oh, there might be a third location. Now I'm dividing all my locations. <laughs> all right, let's introduce a third location. <laughs> what is the third location? Okay, well, you know, this was a long time ago, <laughs> and we used to have to. Um, so we traveled, and the magician we were working for was pretty cheap. So it was one hotel room, <laughs> one studio hotel room, and I could either share 
the bed with him, and he's a lot older with psoriasis, or I could... <laughs> Or I could cuddle up with Brian. So we cuddle up with Brian. So, so it might have happened road. on the road. Like so we've gone from me saying that the door <laughs> room was sleeping. definitely <laughs> correct to now <laughs> in a hotel. I don't know. I think it's it was the door room. definitely the door room. No, it is the door room. <laughs> but <laughs> being weird about you not remembering what was also happening in the door room either before, during, or after your kiss. Not oh. a part of the question either. Also not a part of the question. <laughs> but there are no fucking rules in the Schwimming <laughs> That's right. That's right. You listen to me. <laughs> it's fucking anarchy. <laughs> it's Vietnam. <laughs> we do what we want. Was, was Jonathan Pace? Was that your roommate? Who was the? Oh wow! No, Are forgot. you locking in Jonathan Pace? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Where did your first kiss happen? Okay. It was in the dorm. It was in the dorm. I think we were cuddled up in the dorm. Yeah, what well, you don't remember yeah. watching? <laughs> oh, oh, it's for kids. <laughs> yes, the famous no, line from, the, from the, not, Hudsucker Proxy. the Hudsucker Proxy. The Hudsucker Proxy. Brian's <laughs> door room after the oh, Hudsucker Proxy. God, no, I suck. Wow. I can't. That was really hard. Forget it. Forget it. it. Was Forget it. Unfair <laughs> from Brian. Oh, my God. <laughs> So I was so proud to really like, no. cheat to make and sure you didn't lose a point. <laughs> Not only Bro unfair, in a third location. <laughs> Not only unfair, completely irrelevant to the question at hand. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. When you're married for 25 years, we'll make up a game for you. You know, but like. <laughs> Like most people have like a song that they remember is their song. We have a movie, so Hudsucker. Hudsucker Proxy. Proxy. Is like, Proxy, yeah. Yeah, it's like our that, movie. That is a fond, a fond movie for you guys. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, mainly I remember Bonnie saying she was mocking other people for not picking up on clues when they want to be kissed, and uh, oh. and and then the credits were rolling, and she was like. Oh. Yeah. And I was like, well, I'm not going to let her mock me. So yep. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kiss this lady. And then, then we broke up. In. Brian Brushwood, even then, not fooled. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce, what's the next question? Our next one, Bonnie's going to be writing the answer first right. to this one. Fill in we, the blank. We are complete opposites oh, dear. when it comes to blank. We oh. are complete opposites. Otherwise, perfectly aligned. In frequency, in Fre sync, but on this one thing, tut, 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 no, diametric opposites. Fre Brian, what is what is rolling through that bean of yours right now? What are you thinking about that your opposites with your wife on after 20 years of <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, Brett, uh, uh, what? What would a safe answer be in this situation? I, I, I'm going to phone a friend. Uh, brr, brr, uh, We're connecting you now. Thank you to AT&T AT for <laughs> connecting. Your phone a friend is Brett. Brett, hi, you're on. Hi, uh, hey, Teddy well. Confetti here. Yeah, with, with, with Brian. Uh, Brian, go ahead and ask. Uh, what is a safe answer bing, to this question? Bing, 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 complete opposites. Bing, complete bing, opposites. Bing, bing, bing. Oh, oh my God! I know it. Uh, Don't need me. And we've Click. lost. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I I know the answer. I know the answer. Uh, we're complete opposites on knowing what our daughter's food allergies are. <laughs> <laughs> Complete opposites. You have three daughters with food allergies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, who uh, is better at keeping track of them? Well, I'm not going to pick a favorite, but I will say that we're opposites. <laughs> so one of you <laughs> is better. That mostly prepares and supervises their uh, food. Yeah, who's to say, man? Hopefully, she's the one that remembers <laughs> them. Uh, <laughs> how. Confident do you feel, Brian, in that answer? Not about as confident as I feel in knowing what my daughter's allergies are. Which is pretty uh fine. <laughs> Bonnie? Yes. 
Would you like to show me the answer? So, <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, neatness. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> neatness. All right. So who's who's the slob and who's the 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 anal retentive? One? Okay. Uh, well, this look, lady. Look at how Brian's dressed and look at me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, oh. Aww. Turned into a roast there, didn't it? Was, yeah. It was it was it was the HUD sucker proxy. I, yeah. I'm shocked you don't remember. Maybe, yeah. Aww. She did eventually. I yeah. did. Because yeah. yeah. this is the first time that Brian does not get a point. No. Aww. Because Aww. Brian did not guess. That means that in this question, Bonnie, yes. you have an opportunity to take the lead Ooh. for marriage supremacy with this exact question. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage supremacy. supremacy. Yeah, whoever, yeah. Oh my God. whoever loses, don't worry, you'll have another chance in 25 years. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, when the two of you are in the car together, who controls the radio? Oh. Who oh. controls the radio? Switching back and forth between all these <laughs> different stations, mm. country, news, <laughs> rock and roll, <laughs> cult, contemporary. Those, no, like. <laughs> Your first All set. the different kinds of radio. <laughs> your first pirate set. radio. R. Your hey, first R. R. Where's all the pirates? Huh? Ah. On the radio, that's where. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie. It's Brian. Bobby. Definitely yeah, Brian. No, yeah, Brian. Yeah, Brian. 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 Right there. Bonnie. Yeah. Yes. You've now taken the lead. Hey. Hey. I mean, hooray. I don't oh. get to take control of the dial, but I've taken the lead. You've taken the lead. <laughs> the silver challenge of the Schwoodly Wood Schwood <laughs> has <laughs> continued here. Uh, Bryce, what's our next question? Our next question, Bonnie's going to be answering first on the board. It is. Who is Bonnie's? <laughs> Celebrity crush. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, we're not going to get weird here, but everybody's got emotions and feelings. And sometimes you see somebody on the television or in an old magazine and you say, oh, pa bum pum My heart is just beating like a drum. Brian, Brian, your wife. <laughs> She's got a celebrity crush. Who's the biggest one? Uh, <laughs> Bonnie, should I wait, wait, should, should I wait, wait for her to, to write finish? something? Or? No, no, no. Uh, I'm, I'm not, how, how much do you think, uh, 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 confidence-wise, how much do you think? 100%. You know it 100%. Yep. Oh, uh, take also, out your wallet and put all the money on, <laughs> on uh, in my hand right now. You think it's 100%. Yeah, it's okay. Where's your wallet? Yeah. I'm going to go over to your wallet. You I'm can going have over to Brian's every wallet. bit of cash in I'm there. Going in uh, I don't know if I don't know if you do know He's it. You got five dollars. I'm I'm oh. surprised. Hey, hey, get me some. <laughs> he doesn't Brian have has any money. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, give, give me some. Give me some. One dollar on the line. A little side hustle. A little side action for Brian here. Uh, uh, you believe it's a hundred? She doesn't think you know. I, She's looking right here, dead in your eyes, and saying, "Hey, Buster, <laughs> I think you're wrong." I mean, shake you any? I, I uh, no. Uh, you know it. I mean, uh, I don't know if she spelled it right. What? Whoa. Oh, maybe she's dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right, brother. You got that right. Yeah. Hey, maybe she's dys yep. dyslexic. <laughs> I Not that the easy. studio is on fire now. Maybe. No one was prepared. Of all the words to fuck up. I believe her secret. All right, yeah, give me a, 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 imagine it's either on a television screen or a movie. What is Bonnie's hey. celebrity crush doing? Uh, <laughs> He's uh, uh, crying about his daughter that he left when he went into space. Or maybe he's selling you a Lincoln. Or maybe running for Austin mayor. Oh. oh. But whatever he is, he's definitely showing up stinky at Bonnie's <laughs> day job. And it's Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Matthew <laughs> McConaughey. Ah. Bonnie, can we reveal your answer right now? No. Uh, uh, reveal it. Okay. Flip it. Ah, it, flip gets, it. Reveal it. It's complicated. 
complicated because it had to change recently. Just it. Love it. So Bruce, Bruce Willis. Willis. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's, Brian taking another. Yeah, on he's. That I mean, one. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. the uh, diehard. Uh, uh, do a newlywed game. They said <laughs> uh, have twenty-five years of marriage. They said. <laughs> All right. Bonnie, did Matthew McConaughey come into your mind at all? Uh, no, I mean, I've met him <laughs> briefly, <laughs> well, but I, like, I, I didn't yeah. really, I, he's not really like. Not the, your type. Well, I mean, he's cute. He's but real not, cute. But not he's Bruce cute. Willis. You like the, the, the Bruce Willis voice. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen him in like punching action. Well, Have I? I think he's retired because his brain broke. <laughs> no, I know. I said, talking about but Matthew I did McConaughey. say, like, it, oh, let's talk Die Hard Error. Die Hard Error, era Bruce Willis. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But also, I like, like he was on Moonlighting, and yep. and he was real quick witted, and yeah. like, so Moonlighting was really my first, like, you know, yeah. kind of like. <laughs> they uh, they hated each other on that show. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hit it pretty good. Huh? They hit it. Pretty good. Yeah, well, it, 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 there were sparks flying. It's just the wrong type of sparks. Wrong, wrong sparks. <laughs> wrong sparks, but maybe on the camera it just looks like sparks. This is weird. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Bryce, what's the next question? Our next question, Brian's going to write the answer down to this one. Oh, <laughs> oh who no. is oh, Brian's man. celebrity crush? Oh, <laughs> hubba, hubba, hubba. <laughs> Let's see what Brian thinks. <laughs> I think it's a bit of a naughty question. <laughs> what is your percentage of confidence in knowing this one, Bond? I don't know, but I have a guess. A solid a guess. A solid guess. All right, so here we go. Totally. Anywhere, anywhere between zero and 100, where do you think it is? Where do you think? In the low 10s, high 90s, somewhere in between. Let's I'm going to say it's definitely in the 80s. In the 80s. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> in the 80s. And it's uh, when we were dating, Brian had a Pamela Anderson. Right? Pamela Anderson? Yeah. Was... More than 90s. No. Okay. Shit. Maybe it wasn't Pamela. The Baywatch? Not Baywatch? I think. Yeah, no. It, I think it Pamela was. Pamela Anderson. Yeah. That's... There's I don't an know. 80s lady well, that you're thinking of, but. It was. Uh, well, I don't know names very well. But she was definitely like. Ooh, naked yeah. in a you know in the drop towel. So I know the picture Brian probably masturbated a lot too. But <laughs> do I know the Porn actress? It was harder to come by. It was yeah. harder to yeah. come by. I don't know if it was the actress, but I know the picture. You just look up this thing on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> you had to make do. <laughs> this is Frontier true. medicine. Right. <laughs> Jeez, so did. I have no idea. I probably tinked on that you one. Think, you think Pamela Anderson? <laughs> well, Is that what you're locking in? I'm going to lock that in. I don't know anybody else really. Pamela so. Anderson, Anderson, Brian yeah. Brushwood, your answer is Bonnie oh. Brushwood. <laughs> oh. Ha, 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 hi, Rodin. <laughs> oh, my God. Should have known, Bond. Should have known. I know your teammates. Know your teammates. Oh, this game is changed. And chain. by the way, if you ever wondered if Brian would start game theorying a 25th anniversary game with his wife, the answer is yes. Oh, my God. So, we're um, celebrities, I, I believe huh? you were thinking of, uh, 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 what was her name? Farrah Fawcett? Fawcett? No, no, no. She, she, she was on the fall guy. Heather or something. Heather Locklear. That's, that's who. who that's who you're that's thinking who of, not who of. I was thinking of. Who, who, you were think, who are you thinking of, Bryce? You won. Bryce, you I definitely had that poster. You definitely. Oh, won. oh uh, the one with the towel and the the, no, and the nice classic Farrah right. Fawcett. Oh, oh the Farrah Fawcett. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had no, no if, if you no, look at the the Heather Locklear one, like she's got like like a it, it's like a towelette that she's trying to cover her entire body with. <laughs> yeah. Is she succeeding? Barely. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Oh, whoa. Did you buy wow. that at a Spencer's? Oh, uh, did you guys find it? <laughs> Dude, 
Oh my oh, God! There it is. Oh, that's yes. the that's, very the one. that's the one. That's the one. Yeah. She looks very surprised. Uh, yeah. No, it was behind my door, and body uh, uh, spent one night at my house uh, 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 before I moved out fully. And uh, yep, that was there. Look at yeah. that. Uh, Brian is looking down crestfallen for audio <laughs> listeners. Uh, Bryce, what's our next question? Our next question. Bonnie's going to be writing the answer to this one here. Who said? I love you first. Looking oh, for dear. Who said those famous three words in a relationship? I love you. Both of the brushwoods first. look dejected. <laughs> they are looking up yeah. into the sky. Bonnie this. has not written a single word down. <laughs> this is an awkward moment that I'm filling by talking as slow <laughs> as. <laughs> <laughs> trying to fill the time and the void. The air is chilly as they search their memory banks. Who said I love you first? Brian, what is your level of confidence on 100. this? 100%. 100. You know it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me take one of your credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you, you believe you know it, Bonnie? Have you written down your I answer? Have. You do, <laughs> Brian. What do you believe Bonnie wrote down? Not what's <laughs> right, but what did Bonnie write down? Uh, I have no idea what she wrote down. I only know what's right. Okay, and that is that uh, that we were making out. Before I was going to be a camp director at summer camp. And I said, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss all of you. And then she said, I love you too. (laughs) And then I realized that I was like, oh, I didn't just say I love you. Whoops. (laughs) And she had misheard you. Correct. And then she said, I love you back. Yes. Oh, wow. Which made her the first one to say it. Uh, well, uh, she was the first Technic- one. Yes. She was the yes. first one. Yes. First one. Scam school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Scam school. Oh, yeah. I said, Bonnie. I said my sensitive heart. Ryan. Oh. Now, how do you remember this story going? Oh, no. When he says that story, I'm like, yes, that was exactly yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is, I totally she, she, got duped into it. <laughs> du- duped 25 oh. years of going. <laughs> yes, it's been all been a mistake. Oh, my God. <laughs> Long con. Heartwarming. No, I uh, no, I'm like, did you, did you say you love me after that? I can't remember. I mean, eventually I mean, we both said out. it. I, oh, I wow. I can remember. Oh, wow. But not that night. Oh, that night. That night you just let it hung. No, he corrected me. Yeah, <gasps> yeah no, he's I, like, I, no, you I corrected said, her. He let uh, me know that oh. he said all of you. You uh, said, <laughs> you said yeah, you he said no. Yeah, I didn't say that. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> He was like, saying olive. That you? is a great way to get <laughs> I, into my. I field. said elephant shoes, lady. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we are moving into our final <laughs> round here. That's right. <laughs> For the sake of this entire fucking operation, we are moving in to our final round of the Schwedley Schwed Schwed. We have three children together. What was I thinking? What? For the love of God, Bryce, give me a question. The question for all of the points in the world. Which way does the toilet paper go over... Or under. Classic. Which way does that TP roll? Now, Justin, for you, what is your TP situation preferred? I'm an overman. I need to see it coming at me. You're an Otherwise, Uber- I don't trust it. AKA, and never mind. Not not gonna say. Nope. I'm, nope. I'm over. I'm over it. I'm over. I'm over the TP trying to judge me. I gotta see it coming at me. <laughs> see the whites of its rolls. <laughs> uh, uh, Bonnie, how confident are you that you can win this game right now hmm. by getting the correct answer? It's a binary choice over 
four under. What has Brian? One hundred percent. It's Brian's guess, or what he would insist, right? I'm guessing yes, what you're he guessing says. What Brian would write. Yeah. He would say under. 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 You believe it's under. I know we've had this discussion many times. For (laughs) the game and marriage supremacy, (laughs) Brian Brushwood, reveal your answer. Oh, Oh, Brian wins the marriage. (laughs) The swimming. Switchwood has been brought to you <laughs> by <laughs> Brian Brushwood and Bonnie Brushwood. Marriage. All guests of the Schwindley Switchwood stay at their own fucking house where this operation began and then uh, spread into this property. Sometimes Brian gets too drunk and sleeps here, but that's probably better for everybody because there's a lot of children and dogs. Uh, 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 I, I think what you're remembering is that I know that the air quotes pop uh, or proper way is to do the under, but uh, I, I like the over. Over is better. I could have sworn that you've told me it's under. Uh, 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 under is allegedly the quote unquote right. Okay, well, I feel like I've gotten told it's under. The good news is you have 25 more years to <laughs> Let's get a real big round of applause! Hey! With Bonnie and Brian Brushwood. Uh, if you've got an idea for a game, please send it to our email address, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this fine program. Thank you. Uh, uh, you guys should keep saying I really like this. Okay, really okay. Like all right. All right. We'll, we'll both uh, sit. Uh, Brett, what have we learned tonight? We have learned that you, Justin, oh, yeah, are obviously a sociopath. Yes. Uh, you also yeah. might be dyspleptic. Fuck you. We know that uh, <laughs> each doors are cut <laughs> 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 We know that bull scrotes make great trash cans. And we know that marriage is what brings us together today. Yes. Uh, man, I, I, I feel like I'm in trouble, but still a great night. <laughs> uh, I would like to say that everybody here, uh, uh, number one, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, uh, uh, your marriage has has been the cornerstone of so much of not only my own career, but also some of the things that I'm most proud of creatively, uh, honestly, and sincerely. I wish you guys a tremendously happy anniversary. You have no idea how much both of you. Justin Robert Young, ladies and gentlemen. And until next week, shine on, you crazy diamond. Bye, war bonds. <laughs> no, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, greater night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> <laughs>